Um, yeah, obviously he's an important player for us, and um, you know uh, he's an important all-rounder, so helps us um, really balance our squad out really well. Um, but uh, but yeah, but he's going to be missing this game, so we'll have to work around that and see what's the best combination and what we can come up with um, with best. I mean, uh, you know, you. Uh, in, in, in the end, you know, we've got to work with the 14 that we've got. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes you, you do expect that uh, these kind of things, uh, you know, can happen. So that's why you've got a squad. And uh, we'll have to uh, see what works best for these conditions and these wickets. But, yeah, I mean, probably might not have the kind of balance that we probably used in the first four games. Hello, sir. All Thank the best for the game tomorrow. Thank you. I have a two-part question. Uh, one is, uh, in most of the games so far, uh, the Indian spinners have been able to choke the opposition out. Is it? Uh, do, do you guys have also observed that uh, the opposition batters have been a little circumspect and not put the spinners under pressure? And B, in terms of the opposition's quality to play spin, is this India's uh, uh, biggest challenge so far, uh, at least from, the, from facing the spin point of view? Uh, I wouldn't really want to focus much on the opposition players. I, I, I'd really like to comp complement the role of our spinners. You know, I think they have done a fantastic job. You know, I think the way um, the three of them bowled in the first game, uh, and then uh, obviously we've played with uh, um, Kuldeep and Jadeja in the, in the in the next three games. But uh, just the way they bowled, and like you said rightly, you know, the way they've been able to bring us back into games, control games, take wickets. Uh, bring the run rate down um, has been more, I think, down to their skill uh, and their ability. Um, it's nice for us to have, um, you know, the both of them in the last three games, a uh, lot of experience, um, different skills as well, even though both of them are left arm spinners. Um, they, they're obviously different kinds of left arm, sp left handed bowlers, uh, left arm spinners. So uh, that gives us variation, uh, gives us different angles that they bowl at. Um, so yeah, big credit to them, and uh, and also just uh, you know the bowling coaches uh, working with them uh, to um, to really uh, ensure that uh, they've been bowling really well. I thought Rohit's done a great job of handling them really well and working out the right ends, uh, some really good field placings as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think all in all uh, we've done a really good job, and hopefully we can keep it going. Raul, कुछ reports दिखाई दे रहे about the wickets की Australia का match हो या Pakistan का match हो wicket के ऊपर टिप्पणी हुई है ICC की तरफ से आप कैसे देखते हो क्योंकि हमने तो out भी निकाला है हमने runs भी बनाए हैं और कभी किसी wicket के बारे में हम तो बोलते नहीं तो आप as a coach किस नजरे से सब को देखते हो हाँ मैं तो मतलब मैं definitely respectfully मैं disagree करूँगा जो एवरेज रेटिंग दिया गया है उन दो विकेटों के लिए मेरे ख्याल से वो गुड विकेट्स थे आप सिर्फ मे बी आई आंसर दिस इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज आई माइट नॉट गेट आई माइट गेट माई सेल्फ इन टू ट्रेवल बाई सेंग समथिंग सो नो आई थिंक इफ यू ओनली वॉन्ट टू सी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी गेम्स आज क्या हुआ है स्कोर उधर वो मैच में If you want to only see 350 matches and rate only those wickets as good, then uh, you know I disagree with that. You know, I think the you have to see different skills on display as well. It's not about if we wanted to see only fours and sixes being hit, then uh, we have we, we have T20 for that. No, why do we need anything else? So I really think that. You know, there are different skills involved in one-day cricket. It's not only about hitting fours and sixes. Uh, there's a skill of rotating the strike, being able to play spin well. I mean, if only wickets, we've seen 350, 330 chase, 370, uh, 350 today. Uh, we've played on good wickets as well, where, you know, honestly, in Delhi or in Pune, you know, probably 350-plus wickets as well. If only those are good wickets, then... Why are the bowlers here? You know, why have spinners at all, for that matter? You know, 
they, if you all want spinners to come in and bowl 10, 60 and go, so that you can watch fours and sixes, and one ball spins or two balls spin, and you rate that as average, I, I disagree with that, you know, because I think we should see all skills on display, you know, the ability to rotate strike through the middle over. We see, you know, see the quality of, uh, you know, watching Jadeja bowl or a Santner bowl or a Zampa bowl, or watching Kane Williamson rotate the strike through the middle, Virat Kohli and KL Rahul, the way they batted against Australia. Those are skills as well. You know, those also need to come out and be shown and be displayed. You know, on some of the wickets, even we've played. I mean, and honestly, in Delhi and Pune, rotating the strike in the middle overs wasn't necessarily a very difficult skill. You know, the contest was about who could hit more fours and sixes. So that's not the that's not the only way, in my opinion, uh, respectfully, to be able to judge wickets. You know, I think we need to have a better way of deciding what is good and average. So I, I give you an example. I mean, we were. So I don't know what the rating was for those wickets, but we played the T20 World Cup in Australia. In Perth, we played a game 138 plays 138. India plays South Africa, seaming and swinging all over the place. Right? That's a T20 game. I don't know what rating was given to that. I hope maybe maybe I hope that was rated average as well. World Cup World T20 final. Pakistan plays uh, England. Again, 130 scored in a T20 game. I'm not complaining about it. I think it's good. It's great. That game, wicket at Perth was good. It challenged different skills. It brought different skills out in display. Right? So, and I'm saying this even though we've you know, lost those games. So, it, and that's no problem with that. Sometimes wickets will turn a bit. Sometimes they'll seem a bit. They'll swing a bit. They'll bounce a bit. All we want to see is sixes and fours being hit and 350 scores as good wickets. Then I disagree. Rahul, I just want to know your thoughts on uh, this. Uh, how do you see the uh, in this World Cup, like you mentioned, 350 scores, I was about to ask you that, whether that is really fair enough for judgment of skills. So in a tournament, I just want to see variety, you know. I mean, yes, there are sometimes there will be some good wickets in a tournament. There will be sometimes 350 scored and, um, you know, games that go at high scoring. There will be sometimes wickets where the ball turns brings the spinners into play. There'll be other wickets where it might seem a little bit. You know, you've got a long tournament, you're playing in India, different parts of the country. You know, there'll be different wickets, different challenges. The teams that are able to cope with all of those challenges and deal with that are the ones that will end up, you know, being successful. And we as a team have to be able to focus on that and, and work with that. You know, if you want to standardize everything and make every wicket a 350 wicket, I mean, like there are... And there's very good skills on display, even in a 350-plus wicket. Yes, we see some great hitting, we see some, you know, terrific shots being played and all that. But other skills get missed out, and that's fine on that particular day. But the first, for a few games, when it spins a little bit or something happens, it brings the bowlers into the game. You start rating them as average. Where does it leave the bowlers? Why are they coming then? You know, if all we want to see is four, we have, like I said, we have T20. No, play two T20 matches then. Rahul, during your playing days, I mean, you have kept wickets in ODIs and batted, and when your primary vocation was batting, your namesake is doing the same thing now. How difficult is it is as a role? I mean, yeah, it's not. It's it's certainly not easy, um, you know. And I think he's doing a fantastic job of it. Uh, I thought Rahul's really uh, kept superbly in this uh, tournament, and then batted really well whenever he's got the opportunity to do that, uh, especially in the first game. But um, yeah, I think, um, you know, it's, it's, it is challenging because for someone like him who, you know, and having had that experience myself, he's not someone who keeps regularly at, at all, but he's probably kept a little bit more than I have. As a, as a youngster, he kept right probably up to his under-19 days and he's kept in a few T20 games, as, sorry, as well for Karnataka and all that. So, kept a little bit more than I did, but, uh, but certainly um, not easy, you know, considering he was also out uh, with injury for four or five months and, you know, we... Uh, when we first decided that he would uh, keep and we wanted to have that kind of option with him uh, as one of the options of being able to keep uh, in the, in and bat in the middle order. Um, and we thought we would build him up to this tournament by giving him game time and building him up. But unfortunately, you know, due to his injury, he actually couldn't uh, keep for a while. But the way he's come back, uh, the way he's worked hard, uh, you know, even in his injury, he kind of worked really hard when he, when he started getting back to sort of skills. Uh, spent a lot of time with the wicket keeping. He's worked really hard on it. So, yeah, I thought he's kept really well in in this thing, and you know, it's been really good to see. Just certainly, 
um, gives us that um, gives us a lot of confidence in in him and his abilities. Uh, coach, just taking a cue from the question around Hardik, you know, there have been a lot of talk in the past as well where Rohit had said that there's a lot of clarity about roles of certain players. So if you could just explain the kind of role which you had in mind for someone like Shardul Thakur and how much that is going to change given that now Hardik is not available for this game. Yeah, so, I mean, without going into too much of specifics and it's hard to go into a lot of specifics in a PC, but... Um, but yeah, I mean, Shardul clearly his role was to be that kind of bowling all-rounder for us. You know, in the games that he played, um, in the games that he played, we saw him. Uh, we saw him as someone who uh, certainly has a happy knack of uh, taking wickets, as we've seen, uh, and then bowling those middle overs uh, for us and being like a fourth seeming option uh, for us on certain wickets, which would probably require that that fourth seeming option. And plus, obviously, he hasn't had a chance to really bat uh, a lot over the last bit, but. Certainly, he's been working very hard in the nets with his batting, and you know we've been working very hard on it. We've seen that he has the ability to hit some big shots and play some uh, play some good shots. Uh, of course, we've seen it more probably in Test cricket, not so much in one-day cricket as yet, because he's like I said, he's not had the opportunity to bat much. Um, but certainly, that was the kind of role that he fitted uh, fitted in for us in that bowling all-rounders role. Um, you know, obviously, with Hardik not being there and and Hardik sort of being uh, one of those four seamers. We'll just have to see with the combination uh, we can go with. We certainly can go with, um, obviously, the three fast bowlers or the three spinners. Um, you know, with, with that kind of combination, we, we still could play him and play Ash and move Jadeja up. Uh, many different, different permutations and combinations I wouldn't want to give too much away. I mean, we are pretty clear on what our playing 11 is tomorrow, but uh, I wouldn't want to be giving too much away. But, but yeah, I think there are different, different combinations we could come up with. Obviously, the three seamers, you know, having someone like Shami sitting out there and bringing him in in this game is a great option. Some cases, uh, you know, there's Ash Ashwin who's you know obviously been sitting out, who's got great quality as well. So, yeah, there are two or three combinations we could use uh, considering this till Hardik gets back. Uh, I'm just adding to that. Uh, how much of a factor Ishan being a left-hander against uh, New Zealand's left-arm spinners will that be a factor as well? And also that he's played the first two games as opposed to someone like Surya who's not played yet. How much of a factor is that? Uh, I mean, it it is. It's nice to have Ishan, and he's been like you said rightly. He's been playing well. He's a left-hander, but again, uh, Surya has also come into some great form against Australia, as we saw. Played a couple of fantastic innings. Um, absolutely fantastic player against spin, as we know, left arm spin or off spin or any kind of spin for that matter. Um, and plus, the role may be for a middle overs role. So we'll, we'll just have to see which one we want to. We are pretty clear about the kind of roles which people can play. So um, yeah, if we're looking for someone who might be look to be a bit of an enforcer for us in the lower middle order, then Surya is certainly someone who can do that. If you're looking for someone a little bit higher up the order, then uh, maybe we might go with Ishan. So it just depends on what we're looking at. Rahul, up to now you have played the matches in Chennai, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Pune, all the hot weather. How many conditions have changed here? Especially when the temperature is changed, it's dropped. How important is the due factor? And after that, how important is the toss? Rahul, you have played the matches in Chennai, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Pune, all the hot weather. How many conditions have changed here? Especially when the temperature is changed, it's dropped. How important is the due factor? Rahul, you have played the matches in Chennai, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Pune, all the hot weather. How many conditions have changed here? Especially when the temperature is changed, it's dropped. How important is the due factor? Rahul, you have played the matches in Chennai, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Pune, all the hot weather. धर्मशाला में आए धर्मशाला में आएंगे जो टेम्परेचर ठंडा होता है तो ड्यू ज़रूर आएगा और ड्यू एक फैक्टर होता है पर आप उसके बारे में सोच नहीं सकते ज़रूर आपके एक माइंड में ज़रूर एक रहता है कि आप ड्यू आ सकता है और आपकी क्या टैक्टिक्स क्या स्ट्रेटजी हो सकती है पर आपको कोई गारंटी नहीं है कि आप टॉस जीतेंगे तो आपको दोनों प्लान करने पड़ते हैं और अच्छी बात है यहाँ पर है देखने को भी मिली है कि यहाँ पर नैदरलैंड्स ने डिफेंड भी किया साउथ अफ्रीका गेम्स पहला मैच जो था शायद बांग्लादेश ने चेज किया इनके गेंद पर वो शायद दिन का मैच था जो बांग्लादेश ने चेज और रात में भी यू नो यहाँ पे न्यूजीलैंड सॉरी नेदरलैंड्स ने डिफेंड किया स्कोर तो ऐसी बात नहीं है कि आप डिफेंड नहीं कर सकते अगर आपको बोलिंग डालनी पड़े ड्यू में तो फिर भी आपको ये लेके जान शायद आपको थोड़े ज़्यादा रन बनाने पड़ते हैं थोड़ा पॉजिटिवली खेल के थोड़ा आपको एक क्वेश्चन देना पड़ता है और अगर आप और आप बोलिंग भी करके डिफेंड भी कर सकते हैं इस पर तो देखिए टॉस हमारे हाथ में नहीं होता है क्या हम बैटिंग बोलिंग करेंगे कभी कभी आपके हाथ में होता है कभी कभी आपके हाथ में नहीं होता है तो फिर आप वो ले लेके आप डिसाइड नहीं कर सकते पर आपको ये बिलीव होनी चाहिए कि जो भी हालात हैं जो भी सिचुएशन है हम पूरी कोशिश करेंगे मैच को जीतने के लिए कोच हाउ डू यू एसेस न्यूजीलैंड एज एन अपोजिशन टॉप ऑफ द टेबल क्लैश 
they have not had it easy with them in the past yeah very good side um, you know i will say that they are playing very good cricket um, they play in india a lot um, they have played here they they come on a tours to india a lot a lot of their players have played in the ipl so they are very used to these uh, conditions a uh, lot of experience in their team as well if you look at their squad um, you know we were going through their squad and obviously doing our strategy meetings and they do have a lot of experience um, and depth uh, in their squad as well they well balanced so uh, yes of course a, a very good team uh, and playing good cricket as well so we know we will have to be at at, at our absolute best but uh, i think it's really exciting for us as well because uh, we believe that we are playing good cricket at the moment uh, so it's, it should be a really good contest and we know that uh, we'll have to play well but uh, but yeah we're confident